Hey guys, it's Nerd E here, and today we're talking about Slough Off from Eagle Griffin Games. I was given this game for review by them. I uh, want to take you to the table now and kind of talk about how it's played. Slough Off is a trick-taking game with five different colors, red, purple, yellow, blue, and green, of cards 1 through 15. In the game, you will be placing your bets on how many tricks you will take of each color. Starting with the first player, you'll take as many tokens as you think you'll take of those tricks, and each token is a specific color based on the color of the trick you're going to take. In normal trick-taking ways, the highest card of the color played out of the players will take the trick, and there is a trump color, blue, and if only one blue card is played into the trick, then the person that played the blue card will take the trick. So each player is going to take as many tokens as they think that they're going to take of those tricks. And if there's ever a depletion of one of the colors and you think you're going to, to take a red trick, you can take one of the wild um, negative fours. No one takes the negative threes, but in the game they may be taken. You can also instead choose to take the slough off token, which is this little guy here. If you take it, what you're saying is I'm not going to take any tricks and you're going to have penalties. Um, you're going to get points basically. Um, the worst other people do. So the way the game works is you're going to play um, a card from your hand, and then everyone around the table will go clockwise playing a card, and whoever plays the highest card of the color that started it will win it. And if they win it and they had in their hand one of those tokens, then they'll be able to give it back to the board if it was the right color um, grouping of cards that was played. The game basically is, is revolving around having the least amount of penalty points in the game. Now, if you took a red trick and you didn't have any red tokens and you didn't have any wild tokens, you'll be forced to bring in a black negative three, which is bad. So in that case, that's something you don't want to do. You only want to take tricks that you bet that you would take. And again, if you take it with a trump, you can either take uh, put back a blue or the one that led it. Or if you led with a blue, you have to put a blue one back in. Again, wilds can be anything. Um, if you did the slough off, what happens in the case of the slough off is you basically have said, I'm not going to take any tricks. You, If you take tricks, you still take the negative threes, which is bad. But if other players, you'll basically get... Um, uh, may, actually, you won't get the negative threes. What you'll actually do is, if you have the slough off, you will be looking around the table to see how many people took uh, negative three blacks. And if at least four did, then you get zero points. But the, the most you're going to get is negative four points. So you'll subtract the number of black tokens that were taken from your negative four um, at best getting zero points for the round. So that's basically wanting to get everyone else to get black uh, tokens. The end of the game is basically when all players have dealt. So you'll start with each player dealing. You'll go around if there's four players, you'll play four different games of this. So basically you play till your hands are done. And depending on the number of players is the number of cards or different types of cards you'll have. In some cases you'll not have all 15 cards, you'll have less than that. And that's how you play Slough Off. So let's talk about it. All right, now that you've seen a brief overview of the game, let's talk about it. Well, Slough Off is a very basic seeming trick-taking game. There's not a lot of mechanics going on except for the fact that it has the very cool bidding mechanic at the beginning. You're bidding on how many you think you're going to take and you're not trying to get points, you're trying to make sure you don't get negative points. Um, the way you do that is to correctly bid and get rid of your tokens. And if you're incorrect, then you'll keep the tokens, which is bad, or you're going to get, if you take them and you shouldn't have, you're going to get negative three instead of negative two, which is really, really bad. So you want to be exactly perfect on what you predict you're going to do and not overbid or underbid. The slough off mechanic, which is the actual little token that you take and you want other people to, to, take, to, to take tricks that they don't want to take, um, it's a little confusing at first. It makes sense, and I think that in every game, just about, someone should take that. Uh, what we found was when we weren't taking it, the game got a little a little strange. Um, we didn't have someone that was kind of working against taking tricks, so it made it difficult for all of us, really. Um, so you kind of want someone to take that. Um, the maximum negative you're going to get is negative four, which in a lot of the games, there weren't many people that were doing um, much better than that, actually. So it was kind of a, it's a good idea to do that. Um, but it, it's overall, Slough Off is a quick departure game. You can play it in you know 20, 30 minutes. Uh, it can go along with a lot of players just because you have to go um, until everyone's dealt, which can take some time depending on you know how many people are playing. But really, 
as you learn it, once you've played your first round of it, you, you understand the mechanics, you can play your cards quickly, you kind of know what's going on, you can bet quickly. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a fun game. Um, we enjoyed it a lot more than the rules read made us think we would. Um, what I mean by that is every time I've taught the game, most players are like, okay, it's trick-taking, this is going to be interesting, I guess, we'll play it, sure. How long does it take? You know, and everyone's kind of trying to think about the next game they want to play for the evening. But about halfway through the game, after they start getting it, that, that light bulb trick, you know, flips on and they go, oh, this is, this is actually pretty cool, I, I like this game. What? Where'd you get it? How, what is this game? So there's a lot more. Um, it's it's the rules, the the basicness of being a trick taking game can be a flaw in my game group and in many game groups that play heavier games, that play more thematic games, etc. But once you get into it and once you start you know playing it and going, oh this this is fun. I'm liking this. I'm digging this. It gets better and better. So I, I would I would advise you to try the game out. Um, not just look at the rules online or something else, because the game itself is a blast to play. It's not one that jumps off the shelf at you and says, you should buy this game. It's it's kind of a weird artwork for me. Um, the rules are kind of not exciting, I guess. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's a lot of fun to play. So I suggest try it before you buy it, but I think once you've tried it, you might want to pick it up. Again, small box, cheap game, um, very easy to put in your collection. And if you like, if you have people that like trick-taking games, this is a good one to have too. So that's slough off from Eagle Griffin Games. Thanks, guys.